Okie dokie, I'm back here. Jan here. So yeah, that was a good spot. <laughs> I managed to pee. Look at that. On that, on that side. Um, so I believed. So I'm continuing the quest. Minnie, come on! You need to hurry up and do lots of walking. Uh, there's actually no much wood at this time. So how are you guys doing over there? Hope you guys are doing well. It's really a nice beach. It's just there's no spot to rest, actually. Yeah, it's nice. No much people. Hmm. This is New Zealand. Yeah, how long have I been here in New Zealand? So I arrived here in New Zealand um, October 29 or 30 um, of 2010 So I've been here for ages already It's actually a nice place um, Yeah Well, when it comes to sceneries, actually Philippines is, I find it's just the same. I think the only difference is that Philippines is just too populated. So I guess that's one of the factors maintaining the beauty of the place. So New Zealand is not that populated. So that's why I look at this. They're able to maintain it. The cleanliness, you know, is not that ruined by the people. Um, what else? Of course, the I guess the um, access for the education and um, um, health, healthcare. When it comes to healthcare, of course, they're funded. Unlike in the Philippines, oh my gosh, even though there's field help and SSS, whatever, is not really a big help, is it? And I think one of the things that I enjoyed here, we are earning like, or we are being paid per hour. So basically the things that, or the money that you earn for like a month or a month in Philippines, you can just earn it here like fortnightly, you know? So that's a big difference. In there. What's that, Mini? Are you okay? So she's a busy girl at the moment, just sniffing around. <coughs> How about you guys? Are you dreaming of working and living abroad as well like me so back in the philippines um i think after graduating um my secondary education course um it's and passing the board exam for that it's literally went back to schooling after that and because when I took my education course I wasn't really you know that into that course that wasn't really my dream to be a teacher and I feel like or I felt like I was too young that time to be at a school teaching so I wasn't ready for the responsibility um, responsibility basically so yeah uh, and that time 
Bello, I think that time she's booming that time like her dermatology and beauty clinic like really booming so I was like inspired by her like and also my mom she has some um, this is skin um, issues that time I was like oh no I want to be a dermatologist that time so that's why um, literally after my education stint <laughs> yeah I went to back to schooling it took up um, a preparatory medical course um, medical technology course but then after that of course so many issues and reasons so I decided like been dreaming of oh no I'll just go to um, leave and work abroad and because that time at the same time I feel like the culture of the Philippines is not for me because um, that time I'm having um, you know like personal and identity issues I guess so like looking and finding myself so yeah I've been like it's been the journey like years of um, applying you know um, abroad and yeah I think after like six or seven years of my journey of my application with different countries I got my um, visa approved here in New Zealand and take note I was just like a tourist yeah I took that um, opportunity like I was that desperate really yeah anyway that's um, I will just continue that next time so yeah just message me if you have any questions or if you're just curious of anything about New Zealand or about even me you know living here as a transgender in the um in new zealand okay see you guys enjoy your day god bless bye